we presented an update last EHA about uh, ibedomide uh, in the uh, um, um, in this phase one two study uh, patients were uh, treated with either ibedomide as a monotherapy or ibedomide with dexamethasone uh, or ibedomide dexamethasone with a third drug, either bortezomib, daratumumab, or uh, carfilzomib. And at this EHA meeting, we had an update focused on the uh, uh, efficacy and safety data of the, uh, of the triplets. So in this study, uh, heavily pretreated patients were enrolled. Approximately one third of these patients were uh, triple class refractory, uh, so refractory to image, proteasome inhibitor, and a CD38 antibody. And when we look at the safety data across these uh, triplet cohorts, uh, I think it's important to mention that hematologic toxicity was uh, infrequently observed, and uh, also grade three, four, uh, non-hematologic um, uh, events were uncommon. So few uh, rash, few gastrointestinal events, uh, and that's important when it comes to quality of life. When we look at the efficacy of uh, Iber Daradex uh, in uh, the 37 uh, response evaluable patients, then the overall response rate was 46%, uh, percent, which is uh, um, uh, quite high because a substantial proportion of these patients was uh, pretreated uh, and refractory to Daratumumab. When we look at the uh, 25 response evaluable patients treated with Iber Valkadex, then the, uh, the overall response rate was 56%. Uh, and uh, again, also here, there was a substantial proportion of patients that was refractory to proteasome inhibitors. And finally, there were uh, eight response evaluable patients that were treated with Iber carfilzomib dexamethasone. And in this cohort of patients, the overall response rate was 50%. And again, most of these patients were refractory to previous therapy with a proteasome inhibitor. So in conclusion, I think uh, we can say from these triplet cohorts that Iber with Daradex, with Bordex, or with Carfilzmedex is uh, showing a favorable safety profile and also a promising efficacy profile in heavily pretreated patients. And these data further support the uh, development of Iber-based regimens in myeloma, including the application of Iberdomide in earlier phases of the disease. And indeed, several phase three and phase two studies are planned in patients with early relapse or uh, with newly diagnosed disease, for example, as a maintenance post-transplant.